Now that we have our views, our layouts, so the representation of a drawing, we want to now be able to export them out of ARCHICAD and we're going to be able to save them as a PDF in this case. How do we do that? We use, well, we can do it a lot of different ways. I like using the organizer. And the reason why the organizer works really well is it gives us a split screen. Again, ARCHICAD has a lot of pre-made publisher sets. Again, I'm not going to use them just because I don't want to um, edit them at the moment. And, and for you, I want to be able to show you how to do this from scratch. Uh, and of course, if you know how to do it from scratch, you know how to edit it. But I don't want you to have to muck around with what's, what's already here. So let's just minimize these. We're going to go up one. And now we get the ability to be able to create a new publisher set. What are we going to call this? Let's just call it PDF, just so it stands out. We're going to go into this folder, and we see that there's currently nothing about it. There's no format. Now, when we've selected it, and we haven't gone into it, we can go to Publishing Properties, and then we can start to define a little bit more carefully. So if you ever get stuck and can't seem to edit the details, it's possibly because you're in too far. What you need to do is go up a level and then you edit it completely. Publishing properties, what do we want to do? We want to save a file. How do we want to save a file? We Do we want to create a single file? What does that mean? It's going to create, if we've got multiple uh, pages, it's going to create a multi-page PDF document. Do we want to create a real folder structure, meaning if we had multiple folders, so multiple of these sorts of multi-res construction, it would put them into the real folders, so single PDFs into multiple folders, or create a flat file structure, meaning multiple PDFs but without a folder structure. This would be the one I'd normally use for... Uh, professional work or anything where I was going to be sending out documents to someone uh, because we need to manage that for say for construction purposes but we're not going to do that at the moment we're just going to use the create a single file just to create a, a multi-page document and we'll just use this the name of the file ARCHICAD 21 template path what's that where are we saving it to we're going to save it into the the desktop that's Again, the path explained. Info set, we don't want to mess with that at the moment. Format, we don't want to create a BIMX hypermodel, we want to create a PDF. Now that we see that that changes those other settings that are there anyway. Okay, we now double click to get into this and we're going to drag and drop our files. So I'm going to click the top, hold shift click the bottom so that highlights all three of them together and then drag and drop them into here. So we could drag as many files, as many layouts as we wanted into this, uh, but we've only created three for this purpose. Now when I go to publish, we're nearly finished, I could either publish the entire set, layouts in current, layouts in current issue or selected item, uh, selected items. So if I choose selected items, which is normally the one that I want, just in case I don't want to publish all of them, that I mean I need to select them all. Now that's not hard, so again, click the top, hold shift, click the bottom, that means they're all selected, and I can publish. Remember, it's not creating individual pages, it's actually going to create them all as one document. Now I go to my desktop, and we see that this is here. We're working in education version, ARCHICAD education version, for the, these tutorials and so we can see that this is a multi-page we, we see that each page we don't see the the bounding box that the the line that we saw in ARCHICAD which was blue was just the definition of our printable parameters and we see that's a multi-page with the plan the section and the elevation now once we've created a PDF we can no longer update it it's an exported saved document. Of course we could replace the PDF but because we've published it's now standalone. However anything that we change in our model, so let's just do this very simply here, we were talking about number two. Now this is a remember a module file so it's not going to be very easily updatable 
uh, we're going to have to update through the other file. Let's just use a bit of 2D stuff over the top. Let's just put this big red circle here. Now, if I double click on my save view, that's just what we've got. If I double click on my layout, we see that's automatically going to update. Now we can choose to turn off auto, auto updates if we want to. Select, right click, drawing selection settings. What is this identification update type auto or manual? We're going to leave it on auto for now. Now, of course, that updated here. If I go back into my show organizer and I double click on my floor plan, that's updated there as well automatically because it's basically just a rep representation of what's on here. Now, what I have to be very, very careful about is if I select all these and press publish, ARCHICAD doesn't have a built-in setting that's going to automatically recognize if there's another file of the same name and then give you the option of do you want to replace it. It's just going to automatically replace it. So this is why we have to be very careful when we're managing our publishing because we could replace existing files and of course that could be very, very dangerous in terms of a real project um, and trying to manage the uh, the file types, the file names, correspondence, and revisions. So there we see that we've got um, our updated drawings. Now the only one that's updated is the plan because that's the only thing that we changed. And because that was a two-dimensional change, it hasn't had any impact on the elevation or section. So that's how we use our organizer. And organizer is effectively, in this case, just to be able to use our publisher and it's just my preferred method because it allows us to have a split screen to drag and drop from our layout book into our publisher sets.